Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been the longest time since I've spoken to you all or put a video out on my channel. It has been exactly 11 months I checked before coming on today. And to say that I've had the most extreme amount of anxiety to come back would be an absolute understatement because it has been that long. And so for when I'm coming back for the first time, I want to bring you an amazing video full of stuff, which is what I have got in store for you today. But life has changed so much. I took a break away from YouTube. I've got married. We have knocked down our house. We have rebuilt our house. We are living in our house. It's still a building site. And I would love to catch you up with where we are now and what has happened previously and also take you around our house. But what I wanna do is make sure that I focus my first video back being a video that you guys are used to seeing and loving and basically doing what I love best, which is to shop. I love to shop. It has been 11 months, but my shopping addiction has not changed. It remains the same. I've still been shopping and I feel bad that I haven't shown you guys what I have bought, but I wanted to make sure that today's video was packed full of real good stuff that I've bought recently. So I'm gonna try and make sure this is not a really drawn out long video, but we have got 15 items, great items for you to see. Before I get into it, if you are are interested in a sit down catch up coffee tea where am i in my life let me know in the comments below and i'll make sure i get a video put up for you but i cannot wait to get into this and show you all the things i bought in the last week now before i get into my first item i am currently sitting here wearing my trusty adenola set just before i left you guys 11 months ago i talked about my favorite leggings and these are still my favorite leggings without showing my tush too close to the camera but these are still my favorite leggings i've got this full outfit and i'll make sure i link below because it is so comfortable i'm so used to just sitting here with you guys sitting in an actual outfit and i'm still in a building site i'm all over the place and wearing these leggings in this gym set is like the one of the most comfortable things to be able to move around the house so you know i'm showing you true me in my everyday habitat but my first item is from h&m now this is a wild card item for you guys purely because it is spring although it has been snowing here in the uk it's been really really cold it's got warmer this week but to show you something which is as bright green as this i thought would be a bit of a Ooh, why is she showing us bright green like spring is hasn't even really arrived and the reason i'm showing you this is because it is too good not to show you and it is too good to let it go past this is still in stock on h&m i checked and i cannot wait to show you in the cutaways because me holding it up like this, I'm looking in the viewfinder, doesn't do it justice, but this is basically a flounce top. So if you can see, it's like a bra top underneath. It's got like this ruffle Spanish S roll and it's one shoulder. And it's basically to match this matching full skirt, which is a midi skirt, which is tight at the waist, which is what I love for my body type. And if there's anybody else with a similar body type, I love something that's tight at the waist that kind of draws. Now the way that this two piece has been designed is that it draws your eye into the waist and then back out with this kind of real full skirt, midi skirt, which really gives you that feminine hourglass look without having to actually do too much of the work for it. And in addition, it's got pockets in the skirt, which I think is absolutely amazing. But, but this skirt here is, I believe, $34.99. There's a lot of material. It's not lined, which is good for summer because you wouldn't want something too hot. As I say, it's got pockets. It's got a zip back and a button. And it really is just such a beautiful, light, flowing material which is great when you're really really hot in the summer and then teamed with this top now this top itself is 17.99 i believe i got this in a size 10 just because i've got a quite a big bus my bus is about a size 34 d 32 e so that kind of gives you an idea on the sizing but i got this in a size 10 and i got this skirt in a size 6 now one thing to say if you guys have been watching me for a little while you would have been watching me a year ago and my figure has changed a bit. I lost a lot of weight for my wedding and I've managed somehow to keep the majority of that weight off. Weight off. I haven't put it back on. So I'm kind of like a size down of where I was previously a year ago. So back in the day, I would have bought this definitely in a size eight rather than a size six. And what I will say, I've still got my curves. I've still got my bum. I've still got my thighs. And I think because of this skirt, it allows you still to have your curves and bum and still be on that size. So I'd wear, I would have maybe sized up for anything that was tight because it's quite flowery. I think you can definitely stay true to size or if not size down. But this top itself, this is 17.99. And I think this 
coupled with the skirt is amazing but this will also be amazing wearing this with a pair of jeans or a pair of kind of just pull on linen trousers after you've been to the beach this is absolutely beautiful and you might say you know why are you buying stuff for summer and it's really because i saw a fellow youtuber lydia millen i say fellow like she's the youtuber lydia millen last year she had a beautiful orange suit just like this and it was 600 pounds like and i remember looking for it and i was like oh my god i love it i really want to buy it but I couldn't afford to buy it at 600 pounds. So the fact that you can get this skirt for 34.99 and a top for 17.99 is an absolute no-brainer, which is why I bought it. I bought it without having a holiday to go to, but hey, now I'm just gonna have to book a holiday to actually go through, but I hope that you guys love it and let me know in the comments if you do. But before we jump to the next item, you may have seen already from the videos with the green dress just there that I was actually wearing a really cute straw bag. And this is a bag from other stories. Now this is 65 pounds, which is quite expensive expensive for a bag but this bag is beautiful now it's got the short straps so you can hold it in your hand which is great but it also has the longer straps so you can literally throw it over your shoulder like this really good leather straps so very very strong but the reason I like this is because I've got the Loewe bag which is that big huge straw bag which I love I take on holiday but one of the things I really struggle with is it's a very big bag it's a very structured straw bag and because of that you can't pack it in your suitcase because if you flatten it which I have done once it changes the complete shape so whilst it's a really amazing practical bag to use because you can get so much in it and it looks beautiful it is not a practical bag to take on holiday because unless you are wearing it on the plane you cannot put it in your suitcase or you can but you run the risk of splitting a straw and breaking it so that's why i really like this and i feel like this happily would go into your suitcase you wouldn't even worry about it but also look at the style it's kind of like that relaxed feel which i love um, and you can have this sitting in the back of your car so you could use it for your shopping so if you pop to the supermarket use it for your shopping you could use it going for a picnic you could use it going to the beach it has so much value and so many different ways that you could be using it and, and i love the fact that it's got this kind of long over the arm strap but also the ability to wear, hold it like this because i think this looks really cute how you wear it but this is 65 pounds i did think initially for h&m that was a lot of money but seems it's not from H&M even though it's just you know from the store but it's actually from other stories that can kind of semi-understand it but yeah let me know in the comments below if you think this is a good alternative to, to the Loewe straw bag. Now my next item and you'll see from today's outfit there really is like a real selection in today's haul. Now the thing that I found especially when I lost weight is that actually a lot of my items don't fit me anymore and because of that you know when you lose weight i'm always conscious that especially because i lost it for my wedding that i'd actually end up putting the weight back on so i didn't want to one buy loads of new stuff at my new weight and i didn't also want to get rid of my stuff which used to fit me but i've got to this really awkward stage now where i've got kind of happy with where i am with my figure yes i'm still working out and still my diet and whatnot but i've got to a point where nothing really fits me or it doesn't really complement me because they are too big so i have pulled the trigger and i bought lots of new trousers now these trousers from h&m are absolutely amazing and the reason being is just because of the price point they are 24.99 and i'd say that's probably got a bit more expensive than what we used to i think trousers back in the day from h&m used to be around the 18 pound mark but hey, inflation has definitely happened, sadly. But the reason I love these trousers is because they have an elasticated back. Now, even though, yes, I have lost weight, I still have that scenario where my waist is quite small for my body frame and my butt and my thighs are still the bigger part of my body. So having something that's elasticated is really important to me because it means that I can still get something that fits my legs and then still be quite tight in my waist and not baggy and have that kind of wretched, kind of big old gap on the waistband. But these are amazing trousers. Now, I've been wearing these for work i still work from home majority but i do go into the office quite a lot now with my new job and i'm often in client meetings these are a cropped leg and um, they've got darting in the middle and you'll see that i've got a few pairs like this in different colorways but i just want to show you how i've dressed them differently in the cutaways so you can see where i'm dressing them up for work or dressing them up to go out or actually wearing them casually just around the house but they've got this beautiful pocket now these are made out of linen so they're great for spring they're real lightweight they're not too heavy on the material 
they're cropped at the leg and they look fantastic. They look fantastic with kind of ankle boots, which are underneath. They look fantastic with trainers. They look fantastic with flats and amazingly with heels. And I've been wearing these a lot more than I thought because I thought I'd wear them just for client meetings, but I've actually just been wearing them around the house when I don't want to actually be looking like a slob. Basically, I've just been living in gym tops and leggings for about six months of my life because I've literally come into sight, side was so dirty, and then obviously moved in. I'm always doing stuff around the house, but to be able to wear something that's smart and really really comfortable was amazing now this size i've got in a size 8 the 24.99 i could probably size down a little bit but i think i'm going to leave it because i like it quite comfortable but i absolutely love them and what you may have seen in the cutaways is that i've been deeming that outfit with either kind of a black roll neck which would be my everyday but i have actually bought this top now this top well, I say this top, there's not much this top, let's be honest, there's, there's hardly anything here. And I bought this because I've seen people with quite slim frames wearing a kind of bra top, but un over, under a blazer. Now that's how I envisage. I still do not have the guts to be going out, just wearing this top. I am 37, I'm not 20, I can't do it yet. I haven't got the guts to do it, but I wanted to wear something that would be good for dressing and going out for like a date night and then having a blazer over the top. So it kind of is like a little bit flirty. I've got a real high-waisted trouser. So a lot of my body's covered. And then I love this because the way that it's kind of designed, now it's got this kind of ruffle effect over the breasts. So you don't feel like your boobs are on show, but it's also really nice. The material is really good. It's like quite a stiff material. So the structure of that design will remain. And then we've got this really thin spaghetti. But the most important thing for me, given that I've got quite a large chest, is the actual back. Is completely elasticated which i think is important because how our how our body looks if you're wearing a strapless bra or how our boobs fit is different from every woman to woman so to have that is amazing and in addition it's got like the hook and eye a bit like you know a bra so you have the ability to make it tighter looser very very versatile now i got this in a size small for tops like this i would normally go for a medium um, and i did buy a medium thinking that's the size for me but this small actually works really really well and i love it it's 24.99 and i haven't worn it yet um, but let me know in the comments if you think i can get away with it because i don't want to be like mutton dressed as lamb i want to dress age appropriate but i also want to be like live live your life like i like to live my life by having a youngish mind and I wanna live in a youngish way. And therefore, you know, why should I be defined by my age and buy clothes by my age? I wanna, you know, use clothes as I always have as a point of expression to express either how I'm feeling, who I am, and therefore, why can I not wear that at the age of 37? Now, you may have seen, or if I haven't, I'll make sure that I put a cutaway around for you with this beautiful jacket. Now, this is an H&M haul and everything is pretty much from H&M, but I could not, resist putting this jacket in this haul because i know that it's going to sell out and the reason it's going to sell out is one it fits really well two the cost point i think is about 60 pounds which is which is really really good but thirdly and the most importantly is this looks like celine literally looks like celine i was walking or shopping down bond street last week and for me that's a dangerous place such a dangerous place but i saw i walked into celine and they had a brown and a black version so obviously the difference is you've got celine buttons on these buttons and this is just a plain button but it's literally like the spit like the trim round here is different we've got kind of like a frayed trim um and i think with the celine one it's actually kind of a whipped trim but it's absolutely stunning and for 60 pounds this is an iconic piece. This is a timeless piece. You could have this in your wardrobe forever, literally forever. It is amazing dressed down with like a pair of chinos like I just showed you just now and a pair of trainers, but it looks amazing dressed up. It is such a good item. The thickness of the material is really, really good quality. That's why I say this is a timeless piece. I can see this lasting for a long time and I just love it. And interestingly, when I was kind of doing like a fashion show or walking Joe through some of the stuff I bought, he said this was one of his favorite blazers. And I had blazers which were like Balmain. I've got the, you know, the, the famous you know, gold double breasted button Balmain blazer. I've got a Balenciaga hourglass blazer. And out of them all, when I was trying them all on, I was trying my Zara blazers as well. He said this was his favorite. So what I would say is 100%, if you'll think about it and it's in stock, buy it, get it delivered, 
see if you like it don't let it go out of stock because it's it is definitely gonna go out of stock purely because it's a Celine dupe but i absolutely love it in addition to that um because i'm trying to embrace my figure and get out of my comfort zone and because the house build is coming to an end it means that we can actually have these kind of date nights that we haven't done for literally months and so i want to wear some things that are sexy now because of how I used to feel about my figure, I used to wear a lot of dresses so I could hide some of myself in those dresses. But now because I'm trying to wear trousers as well, I bought this top. Now it, once again, doesn't look too big, does it? And I, and I got this in a size medium and it fits me well. But this is $12.99, literally absolute bargain it's got it's obviously strapless it's got that sweetheart neckline um and as, as i say there isn't much to it they do it in different colorways but this was the only one out in stock and to be honest i like that because it meant that it came got me out of my comfort zone and made me think about new ways that i could wear this now i predict for spring that cream trousers are going to be big so i think this would look amazing cream trousers but it will also look great with black i feel like you can wear this up dressed up out date night pair of kind of chinos or cigarette trousers or wide leg trousers and this will look beautiful but i also can see this transitioning through to spring and summer you know wearing with cream trousers and or into summer wearing with white linen trousers like French Riviera, Saint-Tropez, I can really see this having a lot of wear. So for $12.99, I think that's brilliant. Now it's a strapless top and it's even got like the plastic seal. I don't know if you can see there, it doesn't always focus so well, but it's got the plastic seal to kind of keep the top in place, which I really, really love. But yeah, absolutely love it. And the material is just so soft. It's really, really, really soft. Now my next item, I know we've kind of looked at a lot of stuff which has been good for summer, spring transition. However, as I say, it has been still very, very cold here in the UK. I mean, it was literally only snowing last week, like full on heavy snowfall. Beautiful as it was, was a bit odd for it to be in March. And because of that, I'm still going for those warm items. Now, it wouldn't be a haul from me if I was not a dress involved. You know I love a dress. And one of the things I really realised is I didn't have like a, a nice thick black kind of, I say jumper dress, it's not really a jumper dress, it's down to a midi. But I absolutely love this item. And also, I was really surprised that I could actually shop from H&M and get items from different retail or high street stores. So this is a monkey um, item. And obviously, as I say... I may have forgotten to say at the start, but I will make sure that I link every item that I'm showing you today in the comments section below. But this dress is absolutely beautiful. And the reason I love it is one, the material is really good. It's really, really thick. It's 50 pounds. I got this in a size small and it fits well, but I love the actual arms. Now you can see from here, it looks a bit weird when you show it like this, but they've got like this balloon arms, which gives it that really luxe feel. And it goes beyond the knee. It's quite a long dress. Maxi skirts are 100% in. Maxi lengths in general are definitely in for the season. So I had to buy this because this is once again, another timeless piece. Like I can see myself just chilling in the house, wearing this. I can also see myself wearing it with a kind of like a tight kind of waist belt. I've got an Alexander McQueen waist belt, which look fantastic with this but any waist belt if i'm going out for dinner i could put a pair of high knee high boots here i could wear it with trainers you know it's really versatile and for 50 pounds it is a bit more than i would normally spend for a dress like this i think like things from zara and so forth it might be around the 40 pound mark but the quality is really good it's really really good it's that same quality that i've got from a beanie from monkey and those beanies i've got in every single color if you're an og if you're an old old school youtuber you know there was that era several years ago where i had a beanie in every color and i was going out and locked down with walks but the material is fantastic now switching out of dresses and over to another item, I really have got you a spring piece and this is from H&M. Now these trousers I believe are a little bit more expensive than the others, but I think it's warranted because these are wide leg linen striped trousers which go to the floor. So they're not cropped, so there's a lot more material. material. There are wide leg, but they are $34.99 and I have got them here in a size six. I could have worn a size eight, but they're a bit baggy. But I really love this style. Now, I wasn't too sure how this was going to fit into my everyday until they arrived. And then I realized how I was going to wear them. And I'm going to wear them as they are the standout piece. So I'd wear them with kind of a black roll neck, a black bodysuit, and then have these on. And have these as more of a relaxed trouser effect. They're not meant to be tight. They're not meant to be dressed up. I'd have them as a relaxed effect. And then put a pair of trainers and just have them as that real casual Pinterest-esque look. I can never 
get the Pinterest look that I see, you know, so many cool people wearing trousers in this way. And I finally found a pair that fitted me really well. Now these are a size six, once again, that's quite a small size for me, but they do come up big, big because they're meant to be that relaxed fit. I wear them definitely below my waist, uh, more on my hips, more of a casual, but yeah, I really like them. Um, and I would be interested to know whether or not you could see yourself wearing this style. I feel like that effortless look is really stylistic and we see it everywhere, but it's actually really hard to carry off. It's hard for me to carry off anyways, but let me know if you like that style. But um, great material once again. I love the darting that they've done. I think they've cut that really, really well. So I'm really, really impressed. And going on to more trousers, these are very much similar to the black ones that I've shown you. These are the base version. And without really any introduction, you can probably see why this is in today's whole, why I bought them. now. Potentially, if it's raining and cold, I probably wouldn't be wearing these, but these are going to be great for spring, they'll be great for summer, they'll, they're so light, they're so casual, they're $24.99, they fit really well, they've got that elasticated waist again, which I'm really, really happy about. You know, they are, are a little bit thin on the material, and I think if you bought something like this from Reese or Theory, you know, you'd spend 100 to 200 pounds and the quality would be better, but for me, as I'm stepping into this new trouser realm, I don't want to spend that kind of money because I really want to try and express and change my style. And if you've been with me for a little while, you know that's what I'm always trying to do. I'd rather buy slightly cheaper pieces and let my style keep evolving without the guilt. Uh, whereas if I spend, you know, get a pair of trousers for £200, I will feel like I need to be wearing them for the rest of my life. <laughs> Not for the rest of my life, but you know, get my wear for them. So I don't feel as guilty. And I feel like I'm really experimenting wearing more trousers now. So yeah, this is my way of being able to do it kind of more guilt-free. Now I've also got a gray pair. And for me, gray has never really been a color. I feel like for me, I don't know if you can see here that like gray really kind of like dulls me down. But I really like that smart power suit which is in grey where you can wear it with kind of like a white top a white shirt it'd be really crisp and really smart and i also like it when you kind of wear it with black i just think there's like a sexy-esque edge with the black and the grey trousers and some black heels and so yeah i couldn't not obviously with the elasticated waist i mean i feel like am i a toddler am i a child why am I keep being drawn towards an elasticated waist? But I just feel comfortable. I feel like I'm not gonna have the dreaded back gap. I can eat whatever I want. And I'm not gonna be worried about, you know, my button popping because let's be honest, that happens. I love to eat. But yeah, really, really like these. And I've got these in a size, I believe these are a size four. No, oh my gosh, I didn't realize. These are too small. Now these fit really well, I have to say, but I would never order a size four. I'm at, I've never ordered a size four, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I feel like H&M packed me the wrong trouser, but yeah, they're really good. So if they're in stock, I definitely would say I've got to go back online now and see if I can get them in a size six, but I really like these. And these kind of remind me of the trouser, which was from Maximara. And I know Lydia Million, I've already mentioned her again, amazing style, love her videos. But many, many years ago, she had a grey Max Mara suit trouser with a one shoulder suit top, which was chef's kiss. Absolutely beautiful. And so those trousers are as close as I can can to get to it without that price tag. So as I say, they're $24.99, a lot cheaper, rather than paying like £500 for a pair of trousers. Now, my next item are kind of, once again, a bit more winter based, but I couldn't finish this haul without showing you some of these jumpers because one of the things that I think throughout winter I really struggled with was finding a good quality jumper that didn't bobble, that didn't feel kind of really man-made and not comfortable and very rigid. So I really found it hard. Like I bought some jumpers from H&M, a black jumper in particular, which did have a bit of a rigid feel, but the price point was really good. I think it was 30 pounds, but it bubbled up within two washes. And what I've found with these kind of jumpers that I've bought here, they are not the case. Now this one here is from Monkey. You can get this from H&M. I think this was 40 pounds. So still a good price point, but it's beautiful in brown. Now I have watched some YouTubers like Victoria, a beautiful, stunning YouTuber has an amazing knitwear collection, but they're like 200 pound a piece. And I just cannot afford to buy lots of 
knitwear in that kind of price point. But this is a size small, um, still kind of got that oversized feel. I wear this with obviously my brown leggings. I can see myself wearing this with trousers. It's very thick, it's very warm. And I think as we're still in that spring transition period, you can use this as a layering piece. So you can still have your top underneath, but this over the top. But yeah, it's just so soft and lovely. It's got that real thick kind of roll neck. It's got the same kind of ribbed edge into the, sh to the sleeves as well to match. It's got the same at the very bottom. It's just a really well cut, good quality jumper. And if you're looking for a jumper from brown, because there isn't much out there, I highly recommend it. And my last knitwear piece for today is this beautiful beige jumper. Now, I think you can see from the color why this exists in the hall. It's very much a transitional piece. You can wear this in the cold of winter, literally in the height of winter next year. But you can also wear this now in the transit as a transition piece throughout spring, because let's be honest, spring is gonna be cold in the UK. Sometimes it's warm, but this year I think it's gonna be really cold, cold. It's oversized, it's baggy, and it's from this company called Weekday, which once again, I'm really surprised I've done like a massive H&M haul. And I've got so many stores. I've got Monkey, I've got Weekday. I've even got Arquette for the bag that you saw earlier with the kind of beautiful green dress. But yeah, this is £59. It is a little bit more expensive, but I say the quality feels really good. I haven't washed this yet, so I don't know whether it's going to wash well, but I haven't been able to find a good under £80 beige jumper in this effect, so I could not buy it. But yeah, I love it. Now, what you may have seen is there's been a lot of items in today's haul, and actually a lot of the items I've already worn, so uh, they are definitely keepers. But what I would really like to know is what of the items today have you loved? What of the items would you buy? And yeah, I think my style has changed ever so slightly. I've still got those key pieces, but wearing trousers is definitely new for me. And I would definitely would love to know what your thoughts are, whether it compliments me or whether I should stick to my dresses. But yeah, it's been such a long time and I'm so glad to have now got this video under my belt because it means hopefully I won't have the same kind of like several week anxiety for the next one and I'll be able to record straight away and get another one. And I'm going to come back to you guys hoping to put basically at least one video out a week with a view to maybe increasing it because now I've got some more spare time. Now the house build has been done. I hope to get back because it has actually been really nice to be chatting with you. But if you've made it this far, I really want to say thank you ever so much. This is my first video. It's been tough <laughs> to get back here, but I've actually really enjoyed chatting and I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a good start to the year. I hope last year was really, really good. And if you're new to this channel, stay with me. I'm gonna be back with some more videos. And if you've got any content in general that you'd like me to do, then let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I am hoping to just do a sit down video. I catch up with what's been going on, what's been happening. And if you are interested in anything else like my daily life or just maybe some house content, let me know and I will get the courage and the confidence to bring that type of video out to you too. But yeah, I have been talking for some time, no doubt it's been a long, long video, but thank you so, so much and I hope to speak to you soon.